to uh, say to everybody that is here in the sanctuary, thank you for being here today. Those that may be listening in the church parking lot, we thank you. Those who are watching my Facebook Live, YouTube, we thank you. And Lottie Dottie, and yes, sir, everybody, we pray bless the Lord for you. Uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, we celebrated uh, the life, the love, and the legacy of our wonderful, wonderful deaconess of our church. And, and, and a lot of things uh, took place and so forth in, in, in our country, in our year. Uh, the year, this year, last year, in our communities abroad. So on first Sunday, uh, let me say this. Thank you to the musicians. Thank you. Amen. Thank you to the ushers. Yay. Thank you to the Amen. leaders. Yay. Amen. Thank you to the members of Amen. Amen. Reverend uh, Mason Porch and Reverend Clark and Minister Hardy and to the other clergy that is here. Thank you for being here. Uh, to my wife, who is now operating. Yay. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Um, but um, on first Sunday, thank you, ushers. You can you can you can just kind of take your spot wherever you you we're gonna you you, you find. Thank y'all. Um, on first Sunday, we talked about from the subject. Anybody remember? Anybody remember what first Sunday message was? Y'all don't remember. So y'all didn't even apply, did you? I just said what? Don't get shook up. Amen. How many of y'all been shook up since first Sunday? <laughs> How many of y'all shook up to the first Sunday? Yeah. 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 So, so, so don't get shook up. So I thought today that um, on last Sunday I, I had the opportunity at Crow uh, to preach my own pastoral, uh, 16th pastoral anniversary, and, uh, I, and I, I really, really uh, enjoyed that. But tonight, I want to. I mean, today I want to go back uh -huh. <coughs> just a little bit, dealing with in line with the first Sunday message about don't get shook up. Yeah, amen. 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 So, Father, we bless you. We thank you for this great thank opportunity Lord. to stand in your presence to uh, teach and preach your word. And Lord, we pray that uh, you forgive me for everything and anything that is not in line with you and your word. And, that you may still use me as a tool, as an instrument, Lord, that I might uh, be the messenger to yes. present your word to these your people. Lord, it's, it's, it's imperative, Lord, that we receive a word from you. Yeah. We are living in some perilous times, yeah. and Lord, we need a word from you. Yeah. So, yeah. Father, I ask you, in spite of me, that you would decrease me, that you would increase. Allow your word to flow uh, from my lips. Lord, to the hearing ears and hearts of these, your people, that we all together would be able to glorify thee and that the living church of the, the church of the living God would be edified. In Jesus' name, we say amen. 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 I pray that everyone got a handout. You know, everyone got a handout? Amen. Anyone need a handout? Amen. Thank you, ushers, for making sure everybody had a handout. So the, the message today is, the topic is, no fear when we draw near. All right. All Amen. Right. Right. Look with me at the book of Psalms chapter 34. Psalm chapter 34. Amen. Everybody All see right. it? Amen. If you got it, please stand real swiftly. We're going to read these three verses. Y'all there? Amen. David said, I sought the Lord and he heard me yeah. and yeah. delivered me from all my fears. Yeah. They looked unto him and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Yeah. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Amen? Yeah. Remember what your Bible says? Yeah. All right, thank you. May be seated in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I want to share from this topic, no fear when we draw near. Yeah. Listen, brothers and sisters, we are living in a fearful time. Y'all hear me? Uh, if it is not uh, violence, 
police brutality, yeah. uh, if it's not pandemic, if yeah. it's not gang related, if it's not racism, if it's not whatever it is, there are many things to call us to fear. Yeah. That's why the Lord God said in his word for us to fear not. Yeah. Why would he tell us to fear not if it wasn't for the fact That's that he right. knows we get sick? Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, one of the things is that we fail to realize what brought fear into our life, what brought fear into this world. Anybody know what brought sin, fear? Sin, sin, sin. Thank you. Sin brought fear in this world. So where, where, where is the first instance of someone being afraid? In the garden. In the garden. That's right. When Adam and Eve heard the voice of God coming, yeah. they made them some fig leaves and hid themselves because they were afraid. They were afraid. You know, we as 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 children growing up, yeah. now I don't know how strict your parents are today, but I know back in the day, oh, yeah. they weren't necessarily strict, but they were so strike. <laughs> <laughs> they were strike you. Yes, yeah. sir. They don't hit people. They hit. Children don't get strike today. Like they, oh. yeah. But back in the day, they, they didn't have to... Uh, our parents and our grandparents, y'all know the parents of old, they knew something about discipline. They knew something about raising yeah. their children. Yeah. And to the point where uh, they didn't have to hit you but once or twice. That's right. They didn't have to get you but a couple of times. And then that put like what the fear of God in you. Yes, Amen. Yeah. That when they tell you to do what they tell you to do and you didn't do it, you knew that some consequences were yeah. shortly yeah. to follow. Yeah. Amen. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know, so 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 Adam and Eve, when the Lord had already given them some instructions of what they should do, they, they failed to carry them out the way the Father, the Creator, God, had said to do. And so they they began to go against what his word is, and therefore it became sin. Yeah. You know, um, they wanted to be a law unto themselves. They wanted to be lawless. And, and being lawless meaning iniquity, and iniquity follows uh, uh, right behind uh, the transgression. Uh -huh. uh, transgression is when we overstep the boundary yeah. that God has set between good and evil. Uh -huh. And many of us feel like that we can do it our way, do what we want, do it the way we want to, long as we want to. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And some of us don't fear God. See, the Bible tells us that it's a dangerous thing to fall in the hands of a living God. Yeah. And we know that he is a consuming fire. Yeah. But we also know that he is merciful and he is kind. And we also know that he will judge sin. Yeah. And one thing about sin, sin is something that God does not look on and does, God does not approve of. Uh, uh, Nahum said that God is, is angry with the wicked every day. Not some day, but every day. But we're so glad that we serve a God who is able and who does all the time look beyond our faults and still supply our every yeah. Amen. Yeah. But that does not mean that we not have to answer for the things which we have done in this body, whether they are good and whether they are bad. Yeah. Amen. Y'all yeah. yeah. follow me so yeah. far? So, so, so sin has a way of causing us not to draw near to God. That's Why? Right. Because God already told us what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. He already told us how to live. Yeah. But old Satan, just like he did with Eve in the garden, he, yeah. he wanted to come up and discredit God's word and God's character. He wanted, wanted to misquote God, uh, uh, Eve to misquote God's word yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So we can follow after what he says for us. So it's hard to draw near to a holy God when we live in unholy. Amen. Yeah. I know y'all ain't yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. talking to the preacher. Now. It's hard for us to draw near to a holy God when we are living unholy. And all of us got it. Yeah. I ain't got no big eyes, no little youths in here. Amen. I don't have no rocks in my hand. Amen. 
But all of us are plagued with sin. Amen. All of us are. Amen. But see, one thing about the Bible says in Isaiah 59, 1, 2, that God's hand is not short that he cannot see, nor is ear heavy that he cannot hear, but because of our sins, because of our iniquities. Yeah. Because we want to be a law of ourselves. We want to be the long rangers yeah. in our life. Then God said, I hid my face from you. Why do you think that when Jesus hung out there on the old rugged cross, he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Because Jesus was hanging out between heaven and earth with all of sin, yeah. mankind sin upon him. Yeah. The past, the present, and yet the future yeah. on Jesus. Yeah. And the Bible tells us that God cannot look on sin. So he turned his back on his son because he was turning his back on sin. And I want you to know something. If God turned his back on you uh -huh. and I, it is because of sin. So if God is not answering our prayers, God is not doing what we believe God can do, ask yourself, is uh -huh. it God or is it me? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> is it God or is it myself? Y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. And I know people don't like to talk about sin today. Come on, preach. preach. People don't like to talk about sin today. All right, it's the word. No, no, they rather hear me talk about, oh, what a mighty God we serve. Yeah. How good, how great is our God. Yeah. Well, let me tell y'all something about a great God who is good. He is almighty. Almighty. And he will deal with sin. Yeah. 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 One thing about it, one thing about it, uh -huh. your sin and my sin, it don't take but one sin to keep us out of heaven. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? Amen. What? Every sin must be put under the blood of Jesus. Yeah. 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 So we got this history, brothers and sisters, of running around trying to say who sin is bigger than who. Yeah. Sin is sin. Amen. Amen. We try to say the one that's fornicated sin is better than the liar sin. <laughs> that's a lie. It's sin. It's not sin. It's sin. It's sin. That's right. Amen. 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 Tell it. Tell it. Woo preach. Preach. Get me deep in here. Yeah. yeah. Because Amen. folks don't like to talk about that thing, sin. Go ahead. Why? Because all of us deal with it. As soon as I start talking about you and your sin, guess what? What's that? Amen. My sin show up. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Then somebody start talking about my sin. Yeah. And then as soon as I start talking about my sin, somebody start talking about their sin. Yeah. Amen. Sin is something that goes strictly across the board. All of us are plagued with it. Amen. 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 But let me, Amen. let me let me get on out of the way from Deacon Dark to have too long. <laughs> <laughs> I love this with Deacon Dark. I love this with Deacon Dark. But here's what I want us to understand about David. Yeah. Uh -huh. David was a man of the God's own heart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. David was elected to be king yeah. of yeah. God's people. Yeah. Yes. Amen. God chose him. Yeah. A man of the God's own heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You can ask for more than that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. David was able to do great things. Kill a bear, kill a lion with their yeah. hands. Yeah. Kill a giant with yeah. one school stone. Yeah. yeah. Sword, cut a giant head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the context of this story here, this chapter, when David ran from Saul because of what? He was afraid. Yeah, yeah. And when he ran from Saul, he found himself oh, in Gath under yeah. a man by the name Achish or Abimelech, uh -huh. who he had to pray like he was an insane man because he was afraid that they were going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> David ran and hid in the cave at Adullam, hiding out because he was afraid. Yeah. That's right. That's David's right. popularity uh, had, had, had increased to the point where they were singing praises. Oh, Saul killed his daughter, and David hit him down. <laughs> and all that popularity was letting everybody know who David really was. And so he said, I got to get out of here. So he probably pretended to be mad, scraped on the leg, spit, run out of the beard, hid out in the cave, and where everybody found where he was, they came to where he was. Uh -huh. He said, here in this cave, and pen this song, he said, while he's looking at everybody, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Not sometimes, at all times. 
Amen. His reign shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear them and be what? Glad. Amen. Oh, magnify what? The, the Lord. Lord with me. Let us exalt his name Amen. together. Yes, Amen. 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 So then David says something here in verse 4 that is interesting. Uh -huh. He said, I sought the Lord. Yeah. Now he's hiding out in a cave. Uh -huh. Everybody that come to him was, was in distress, they was in debt, and they were discontent. Read the story. For right. sin. But nevertheless, so David sitting up in the cave, hiding out, afraid, fear of Saul, fear of King Ages, fear of what might happen to him, but he did not realize that God has made him, placed him, called him a man after his own heart. So don't tell me just because you're a child of God that you can't get afraid. Yeah. Don't tell me just because you got the blessings of God on your life that man don't get afraid. People get afraid when you hear a doctor's report. People get afraid not knowing yeah. the evidence. People get afraid when they say, well, there's a virus out there. Yeah. People get afraid for many things. People get afraid when a storm come up. Let the cloud get dark. Yeah. Let thunder roll. Yeah. Let people, let people hear of somebody getting mugged. In the hood. <laughs> Amen. People get afraid, and the Lord know we will get afraid. So the Lord tell us, yeah, come on, preacher. fear not. Fear not. Amen. 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 Paul said in Romans fourteen twenty three, he said, "Anything that is not of faith, it is a fear, and guess what? It is sin." Yeah. Amen. If it's not of faith, it is sin. So guess what? Fear has sin attached to, to it, it if the fear is not reverence to Almighty God. Amen. So we have the fear to reverence God rather than the fear to fear God. Yeah. Listen, don't not, it's good to fear God because when you have reverence, you fear that what he has all power, he can do yeah. with me whatever he want to do. So yeah. guess what? I'm not going to go against my daddy because I know my daddy got the power. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all hear me? Uh -huh. But nevertheless, brothers and sisters, here's the thing, here's the thing. When folk began to fear, 1 John 4 tells us it's because, and 18 says because uh, uh, they have not been made complete All right. uh -huh. in God. Yeah. So when we may become complete in God, perfect and complete God casts out what? Fear. Fear, fear has torment. Uh -huh. Why y'all think that so many folk don't come to church during the pandemic? Torment. Torment. <laughs> But they don't have enough to stay away from Walmart. Amen. <laughs> oh, I thought I was working. Okay. Right. They don't have enough torment or fear to keep from going wherever they, they want to go. Right. It's just a church. But notice what the scripture said. David said, in the midst of his fear, he said in verse 4, I saw the Lord. Yeah. Amen. If you're dealing with anything that calls you to be tormented by fear, that God is not going to take care of you. God is not going to make a way. He said, I saw the Lord. Oh. Seek the Lord. Yeah. Do you remember when in Matthew chapter 28, verse 5, when the ladies went to the tomb looking for Jesus? Yeah. The angels say, He is not here. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. But before he said, He's not here, He's risen. Yeah. He said, Fear not. I know that you see the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. If the lesson, if the, you don't have to fear if you're seeking out of the Lord. Because the Lord ain't going to let nothing happen to you. you. All right. Let me get out of here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't word your patience. But notice here. Notice here. Notice here. David said, I sought the Lord and he, he did what? Heard. Yeah. Have you talked to the Lord about what's Causing you stress and, yeah. death and, and fear and torment. How have you just, when the old folks say, the older folks used to say, just have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them all about your yeah. 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 He will hear your yeah. Yeah. And he will answer. Yeah. Yes, he will. A little prayer will. Yes, but yes. notice what else he said. He, and he didn't only hear me, but he delivered me. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been. See, that's the problem with us. That we have not been delivered from our fears. Wow. 
Amen. Because it's a sin not to seek other God. Amen. And if we don't seek other God, our fear is going to follow. Let know you what the Bible says to us in James. He said, when we commit our way unto the Lord, we can resist the devil and he will flee. Want to do it? Yeah. yeah. One of the reasons why we trying to resist the devil and he keep coming after us is because we haven't given it over to God. Yeah. Yes. When you give it over to God, you can resist the devil. Oh, I'm talking to some of us. Some of us still trying to fight our own battle. Some of us still trying to do it our own way. And the Lord said, give it to me. But notice what this is in verse 5. He said, they looked to him. They looked to the Lord. And guess what? And they were enlightened. They were not ashamed. Of their faces uh, were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. Yeah. The Lord is refuge. He's the very present help in the time of trouble. Y'all yeah. with me? Oh, yeah. so I'm getting ready to go now. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go. So I was just trying to tell you these, these five things that you see on your paper uh -huh. is what fear will do. First thing is the fear will disregard God's plan. Yes, it will. How many of you know God has a plan for you? Yeah. Y'all with me? Yeah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29 11 tells us. He said, I know the thoughts I thought to you. Uh -huh. The plan to give you peace and to give you an expected end, give you hope. Of yeah. future. God knows the plan He has for us. Yeah. Proverbs, Proverbs 16 9 said, A man can get up every day and devise his own way, but it's the Lord who ordered his steps. Yeah. So you can plan and do it your way, plan, but God has a greater plan for us. Yeah. But when we begin to fear, we have disregard for God's fear. You know what disregard? That is to have no attention. It is to give it no attention. It is to know what God has. See, that's why some of us get messed up because we're trying to have a plan of our own. That is not in line with God's plan. Yeah. Right. When God's plan is the best plan. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But see, God's plan may not be taking us the way we want to go. So we say, uh uh, I ain't going that way. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not giving him one thought. Yeah. And then we have missed. All but right. that's, what, that's what fear would do. Because see, something about having disregard to the plan of God is this. Yeah. If you can't see the end result in the beginning, you don't want to do it. Amen. So you don't know the plan. We don't know the master's plan for us. So guess what? When we don't understand the master's plan because we don't understand the plan of the master. We don't understand his word. And guess what happens? We get afraid when stuff ain't lining up. Like yeah, right. Amen. But not only that deep. Not only would disregard God's plan, but brothers and sisters, it'll distort God's purpose. Yeah. God has a purpose for all of yes, us. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Then not Romans 8 27. For we know that all things work together for the good of them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, Those of us that love him that are called according to his purpose. Yes, when yes. God planned for you to be saved and saved you, he saved you for a purpose. Yes. And a lot of us don't know what God's purpose is for our life. So you're just aimlessly going through life trying to fulfill a purpose. You know you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Free. Free. To distort means to give a false, a misrepresentation. Yeah. So in other words, so when you distort the purpose of God, well, I know this can't be a God for me to go through sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say that? Yeah. Amen. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to have a problem. So anytime that we're going through God's purpose for our life, the old enemy say, well, look, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be going through this. And it caused you to miss the fact that God says to us that all who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer. <laughs> Oh, y'all don't want to suffer. That's not God's will for me. That's not God's purpose for my life. I'm not, that must be for somebody else. Yeah. And then we distort God's purpose in your life, my brothers and sisters. Y'all with me? Yeah. Have you ever been like Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane? Who said he knew. He knew the plan of his father. Yeah. He knew why he had come. Right? Right. But yet in his humanity, being God, 100% God, 100% man, kneel down in the garden and pray, Father, if it be thy will, yeah. let this cup pass me. Right. 
But nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. But he knew that the Father had a greater purpose. Yeah. Yeah. See, when we distort God's purpose, you don't know what God's plan and what God's purpose is for your life yeah. and who you may lead out of darkness into a yeah. marvelous life. You don't know how God has a purpose for you to use you in some way that would bless your home, your family, your community, your church. You don't know. But you let that old enemy distort God's purpose in your life because you have allowed him to cause you to disregard God's plan. Amen. See, when you know God's plan in your life, you ain't got to let nobody cause you to distort the purpose. Yeah. Got with me? Oh, yeah. oh, see. Not only that, once God, once you have a disregard for God's plan and distort God's purpose, then see, it will discourage God's people. Yeah. yeah. To discourage means to deprive of courage. Come on, preacher. It means to deprive one of hope and confidence. It means to dishearten folk. Yeah. I've never seen so many deprived folk like I see <laughs> in the midst of COVID-19. Yeah. 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 Pre-pandemic, boy, folks are, oh, I serve a mighty God. <laughs> Ain't nobody like my God. My God is a healer. Go ahead. My God can move mountains. COVID 19 hit. <laughs> Go ahead now. Amen. Thank God turned from all this to yeah. none of that. Y'all with me? Yeah. All I'm trying to say is when you have courage yeah. in God. You can be like Sam, uh, like uh, David in 1 Samuel 30, verse 6, when, when, when all of the people sought the stone David. Yeah. yeah. Nobody was speaking the language. David's children was even taken, taken by those of Ziklag. David's family, his wife, his children, as well as everybody else, all the other men's children, they was angry with David. They didn't say, well, listen, David, we know, we with you, even though we know that your children was taken too. Your, your family was taken too. No, they didn't say that. They picked up some stones and sought to kill him. Yeah. But the Bible declared that David had to encourage Amen. 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 See, see, one thing for certain, brothers and sisters, you can't allow pandemic, you can't allow problems, you can't allow people to take away your courage. Yeah. Can I get a witness? There are too many of us as cowards today, and because we have lost our courage. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. See, David, they, they, but, but David said in Psalm 27, 13, he said, I have fainted self, I've seen the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He said, wait on the Lord and be a good coach. And he was strengthened down in heart. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yes, Why yeah. is it that when you look around and folk go through what they go through, that they lose their hope, they lose their courage? When we understand that prior to pandemic, prior to problem, we had our hope built on nothing less than Jesus, yeah. the blood of Jesus and his righteousness. And we used to tell everybody, no sweet frame that I would trust in the Jesus name. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. But somewhere or another, in the midst of government, in the midst of political, in the midst of southern, we have allowed man to take our courage. We have allowed yeah. folk to take yeah. our courage. But I'm trying to tell you today, it's because you're afraid. You're afraid of what tomorrow might bring. Uh -huh. But how many of you know that tomorrow might not ever come? Yeah. The Bible says, seek the yeah. Lord while he may be found. Can I get it with yeah. Seek first the kingdom of God and his right. Yeah. Everything will be added. Don't worry about tomorrow. Yeah. For tomorrow to take the other things of itself. If tomorrow comes, he's still the same God. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, yeah. today, and forever. Yeah. 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 He was the same God in the Holocaust. Yeah. He was the same God in the World War. Yeah. He was the same God in slavery. Yeah. He was the same God in pandemic long before yeah. this. He ain't changed. No. Heaven. No. No. But where your courage go? Yeah. What no fear? Yeah. Somebody done told you if you don't get the vaccine, you're going to die. Now, I support getting the vaccine. Somebody says if you're going to wear your mask, you're going to die. I support wearing the mask. Uh -huh. But then some say, well, if I take it, it's going to make me impotent. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. 
It's gonna, if I take it and I'm pregnant, it's going to hurt my baby. Mm -hmm. If I take it and it might cause it, listen, where's your courage? That's right. Yeah. Amen. Where's the courage that we have to trust God? Yeah. Where's the courage that we have to say, like, like Job said, yet though you slay me, yeah. I'm going to trust you. Yeah. Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is, people of God, we got to get our courage back. Yeah. We can't let the enemy keep taking our courage. Yeah. Because it's the courage that gets you your hope, gets you your confidence in the God that hung out there between heaven and earth. The same God who said, I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. The same God who gives us a no, he'll make a way for us out of nowhere. The same God that was there with my grandmama, my great, 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 great grandmama and my granddad. Yeah. The same God that brought my folk through, your folk through. Yeah. The same God that he ain't changed. He's still the same. But so many people have lost their courage in the God of their salvation. Yeah. So David hiding out in this cave. He said, I look around and I discover that all these people is mimicking me. They coming to me. And here I am sitting up in here like a coward soldier, like a coward king. Like I don't know what God has done. And I don't know what God is doing. He said, so I'm going to bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Yeah. But I don't want to do it by myself because he said, My soul make a boast of the Lord. The humble shall hear the other be glad. But here, let me tell y'all so He had to humble me because I was afraid and I thought I had it all together. But he brought me down low so he can lift me back yeah. up. And yeah. then he lift me back up. I don't want to leave you behind. So y'all come on and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Have God been good to you? Have God brought you through it all? Did you see folk go through all around you? Folk leaving you or nothing right? But yet God is still the keeper. That the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. He is the preserver of your soul. All you got to do is keep lifting up your eyes unto the hills where the come and your help. Uh, 
If you are, if you living in a curse, why? Because you ain't obeying God. God don't curse. Some, some people tell me, say, I don't believe that God would curse you. I said, brother and sister, God ain't got to curse you. All you got to do is quit blessing you. You automatically curse. Y'all hear me? All I'm just trying to say is, listen, when we allow fear to come in and disregard God's plan and distort God's purpose, and discourage God's people. I just want you to know it will cause us to disobey God's yeah. principle. God has principle for us to go by, and we live in a life where we don't have any principle, anything going on today. Yeah. Anything yeah. and everything going on. Yeah. And the sad part is the church is not allowing it to go on. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Let me leave y'all alone. Amen. And lastly, fear will cause us to be distracted from God's promises. When we are distracted from it, it will cause us to be drawn away. And there's so much that the enemy know that we don't know about God's word, yeah. about God's principles. Yeah. So you know what he does? He come and slide your old counterfeit in there and cause you to believe that this is the real deal. Yeah. And listen, uh, 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 Brother Bernard and his wife, you know, they, 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 they've been in law enforcement, they still are, and so forth and all. But then, then they tell you uh, concerning the FBI and all that good stuff, yeah. who tried to break up a, uh, a counterfeit ring. You know what they studied? They don't go out and study the counterfeit money. No, they don't. You know what they study? They study the real, the real thing. Real. They get to know the real currency so well that when a counterfeit slide by, it's automatically detected. Yeah. But you know what? We are so distracted by all this stuff yeah. that the enemy trying to yeah. shed on us. Yeah. How many of you know that the truth don't change? Yeah. A lot of it continue to change. And people would continue to dress a lie up, fix a lie up, put heels on a lie, put pants on a lie, put a skirt on a lie, put, put yeah. jewels on a lie. They put a whole lot of stuff on a lie and tell you this is the way it is. But I stop by there and tell you, don't get distracted from God's listen, promises. God, God's promises. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 1, 20, 21, that all of God's promises are yea and amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm trying to tell us today. There is no fear when you draw near to God. Amen. If we're fearing, ask yourself, how much space have I put between me and my God? Yeah. Ask yourself, as well as myself, how much sin do I got separating me and my God? Amen. How many of you want to walk victorious? Amen. 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 How many of you want to walk victorious? Amen. Well, sure, I ain't hold out, y'all ain't raising your hand. Yeah. I know what's gonna happen, y'all. <laughs> you gonna get exactly what you asked for. Yeah. No victory. But if we want to walk victorious in our God, yeah. the only way we're gonna be able to do it is we gotta get closer to God. Yeah. Amen. What is separating you and your God? What is separating me and my God? If it's sin in our lives, it's gonna create fear. Yeah. And fear is going to cause us to quit taking the next step mm -hmm. to get closer mm -hmm. to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. Are you fearful today? Yes. Yes. If you are fearful today, it means because you have gotten far yeah. from the Lord. Yes, when you get further from your security blanket, whatever it may be, I remember some children. Growing up, uh -huh. when they felt the shelter and the safety of their parents' home, everything was blessed. Yeah. But when they had to step out on their own and leave the nest, yeah. fear began to say. Yeah. Some parents began to experience the empty nest syndrome. Yeah. Will my husband won't love me now? Everybody go. Is my wife going to keep me now? Everybody go. Hello. Fear. But I believe that if we teach one another yeah. Yeah. to draw near unto God, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. and he will draw nigh unto you. Yeah. He will see you in fear. Yeah. And he will strengthen your faith yes, he will. Yeah. to the point yeah. you'll be like David. Yeah. I will bless you. Yeah. At all. At all. At all. Not because I'm healthy and well, but when I'm sick and on my bed of affliction. Not only when I got money in my pocket, but when I don't have two pennies to rub together. Yeah. 
or folk knocking on my door saying, you going to have to I still believe God is in control. Yeah. Amen. In order to get you out of some things that you are in to something better, you got to shake up some stuff. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. Yeah. I love y'all. Amen. I really do. And I want you to know, you don't have to fear what you're facing, what you're going through. Because the Lord said, I go through it with you. Amen. I'm right there with you. I won't leave you. Amen. You might call me and I might say, I can't get there. Mm -hmm. You might be with somebody and somebody else say, hey, you're on your own. But the Lord is right there in the thick of it. Yeah. Amen. But the question is, how much of you will you let God take control of? Yeah. Brother McLeod, give them that song. Give me you. Yeah. Everything else can wait. Yeah. Let us stand to our feet. Listen, let's give a look at that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to allow.